Hey, this is Captain Noob, and I don't consume any soy. Anyways, this is the Chiapa Rhino Revolver, or the Total Recoil Revolver. This thing was featured in that 2012 remake. This is a standalone, highly customizable revolver-type weapon with a futuristic look to it, which is nice. Anyways, for the attachments, first of all, the receivers. This thing's got the same sort of receivers as the uh, 44 Magnum in the vanilla game, so nothing new to talk about there. And you can go for a hardened barrel for better range, or even longer range with the... Uh, the long barrel there so we'll definitely do that we want to squeeze as much range out of this thing as we can for better damage over range and for the sights um the grip there's nothing there the sights you can have iron sights or ghost sights which um think of those like iron sights that you can get in battlefield 4 the ones with the glowy ring and of course the reflex sight there is what we'll choose simply because this thing's going to be a lot better with vats in there with the reflex sight so why not now for the underbarrel attachments, you can have a laser there, which will increase your accuracy a little bit. The blade attachment will act like a bayonet on this weapon, so if you want to get up close and personal, that's probably a decent choice for it. We'll go for the barrel weight there because I think it completes the look of the weapon. It also improves your recoil and hip fire accuracy, which makes sense because this thing's a little bit heavier, so I guess that works like that. Now for the grips, you can have a white grip, a grip or a black grip. There's not really much to uh, say about these ones. It's more of an aesthetic thing and you won't really see the grip anyway. But yeah, since uh, Phoebe is in the Institute uh, colors, we'll go ahead and chuck the white one on. I think that suits her pretty well. Now you can actually change this thing um, in its metal camo, I guess. Uh, you can have it blue, camo colors, red and all of this. We'll go ahead and chuck on the tech one because again, Institute they've got a super high tech stuff so i feel like that suits phoebe just fine now for this bit this thing is actually only applicable if you attach the uh, hardened barrel there so i'll do that for a second you can actually change the look of that it's barely noticeable really but the wood looks kind of nice i guess but we'll keep that as a metal barrel and go back to the long barrel that'll actually give us that under barrel thing too so you do lose an attachment slot with the hardened barrel unfortunately and of course the legendary effect exists under this weapon and if you want to increase the power of this then i highly suggest you actually attach one of these things on but i'll leave this thing without the legendary effect and we'll take this thing into gunners plaza Okay, so here we are in the not immersive Gunners Plaza, the stock is a rock Gunners Plaza, and I figured I'd just use this one now because, um, yeah, the immersive one was causing me too much of a headache to use. Also, the spread on this weapon in hit firing is terrible. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to do this one aim only. Is it really that bad that I can't hit this person all the way over there? Why cut? Huh. Okay, well the damage seems to be ticking the box for some reason, but whenever I crouch this thing's... What? Okay, um, interesting. I guess we have to do this without the use of crouching, which, you know what, seeing as this thing isn't suppressed, also shut up cans, yeah, we're probably not going to see much use out of um, this thing as a uh, sick tech critting anyway, so we'll just go ahead and shoot these gunners. Hmm, the damage, 137 for that. Okay, getting closer, we can actually get that damage up and going. Okay, looks like we've got a severe damage drop off from this one, so it's going to be a close quarters type revolver. Well, in that case, we'll just shoot this gunner in here, just with... Um, third person fire because you actually can fire slightly faster in third person because you don't have to wait for the entire sort of uh, hammer pulling animation to pull out you can sort of just fire it a little bit faster it almost makes it look like double action sometimes which is nice but nope don't bother crouching with what if I okay the vats okay it doesn't affect vats interestingly I think this is just to screw up with the creation kit just some of the numbers need to be tweaked See if we can... Huh. Okay. I'm hitting that one now. Uh, okay. Just... Alright, stop that turret. That's fucking annoying. There we go. Okay, so it looks like this thing's values need to be um, decreased, not heightened. Also, I think I just spotted a two-shot gorse rifle. Hang on. That is a two-shot gorse rifle. Oh, I want that. I want a two-shot gorse rifle. This revolver's giving me the shits. Nah, don't worry. There we go. That is a two-shot gorse rifle. That's good. Also, there's Captain Bridget. We'll go ahead and fire many, many 44 Magnum rounds in her head. Ah, uh -uh. no stim packing. You get a crit for that. Oh, we don't get the kill. We get killed ourselves. 
Okay, we'll try that again knowing what we do know, which is um, don't crouch and fire this thing, very inaccurate, and also get as close as you can because the damage drop off is terrible, and fire in third person for the best fire rate in TPS. Oh, 124 damage from there, bloody hell, okay. So I'm gonna have to get really nice and close to these guys to actually see an effect of this thing. In fact, point blank apparently. There we go. Okay, maybe these gunners have just got a lot of resistance on them and I should go for headshots to actually increase my damage there. So, uh, hold still there. My aim isn't great. Also, I probably should have reloaded. There we go, 273 damage there. That's better. Now, if we could just bash you. Can we get a bash kill here? No, we can't. We'll quickly finish you off just by doing that, I suppose. Okay, so now I've got this gunner to deal with. Here he's holding his gun in a very peculiar way. Hey, that mine spawned there. Ha! Take that. I probably did more damage to myself than I did to him, but whatever. Point still stands. And also, that gunner is all the way up there. Don't worry about them. Okay, so I... Yeah, this is a very strange weapon. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be somewhat of a gimmick in it. Or if that's actually something they intended to actually be, but yeah, that is the that's weird. Huh, I can't actually hit that turret from out here. Okay, this is bizarre. This weapon is an enigma. I, I really can't work it out. Also, where's Captain Bridget? That's just a gunner captain, that's fine. We'll just knock out this turret in two shots. Man, a revolver like this. I think the Western revolver can go ahead and one-shot that turret even at that range. So this thing, you got a bit of explaining to do. So I guess, just like the Chipper triple threat, or the Chipper triple threat, this thing seems to be a little bit on the broken side sometimes, which is a real shame because this weapon mod seems to be of high quality, even though it's using all of these... um animations from the vanilla base 44 magnum but that's fine whatever anyways so the sounds on this one are actually not from the mod these are um, my own replacements somebody ah there's captain bridget how do you do and how do you do is uh getting critted to the face probably like three times before you drop because you've just got a really thick adamantium skull and wolverine healing abilities when you pop a stim pack or so I'll just knock that off for a second so none of you buggers can shoot me with that and even at this range we're getting 139 damage can, do we get less over here okay it looks like the minimum damage of this is just terrible and that's probably because I am playing on very hard difficulty which incurs a damage reduction of a 50% base level so we're only hitting these guys half as hard as if we were playing on uh, normal there, which is, um, as you can tell there, if a weapon's a low DPS thing in general, you get a huge um, reduction in it, and it's not very effective, but um, as long as you can stay nice and accurate with it, if the gunners like to stand still for me to shoot at them, we can do okay with it. In terms of its aesthetics, I think it's somewhat of an oxymoron to have a revolver that's futuristic at this point, but you know what? It's a nice looking weapon, and I think it's a real thing, so yeah. That's cool. Um, I do enjoy modders who actually painstakingly recreate the weapons using their 3D modeling programs and don't just rip it from other games and claim it their own. Hmm, okay. A little bit of an accuracy over here. Maybe on my part because I'm not getting a precise aiming there. Also, stop shooting at me. I'm going to pacify you. Haha, <laughs> perfect. Okay, so you're going to kill that legendary gunner. And we're going to get into Nerd Rage. And, um... Hmm. There we go. I can actually cancel that little thing also. I got stuck on there some I got stuck on something for a second. And we can't kill that guy. I think I had a crit on me, didn't I? Oh I didn't. Never mind. I thought I critted him. I pressed the space bar anticipating one, but whatever. Okay, how so how is our conscript doing? Actually she's doing alright. Wow, you came around really quickly. Okay, we're, we're going to keep her following me for as long as we possibly can. So, uh, yep, hopefully she'll be alive to take on these super mutants. Oh, yes, I remember. Don't crouch for this thing because it's really inaccurate. There we go. That was that turret's last mistake. Good call, Gunner Conscript. All right. One yeah. more shot on you. Screw with the gunners. Yeah, that's right. Gunners versus gunners. This is gunner on gunner action. You love it. Also, nice sunglasses. I want to have them. Here. That's totally a thing you can do when you've got a pacified target too. You can just have their stuff. But the trick is just to keep your weapon out. Oh, hang on. Looks like I forgot about these guys. It's on autopilot because I'm used to having these, um... Yeah, I'm used to having these guys, uh... 
killed first. So, um, okay. That was a little bit of a glimpse of what Nerd Rage sounds like in normal, um, in real time there, which is kind of interesting. But we'll go ahead and use our bonus damage to kill this gunner lieutenant. We'll get a bashing kill on him. There we go. Nice little slap with the gun. Another notch for your gun. You did nothing. You did nothing. And last of all, we've got this gunner conscript in here. Down you go. That's some nice sunglasses on you. I want those too. There we go, now we're rocking a pair of six shades. So there you have it, that was the uh, Rhino Revolver in Gunners Plaza. It did alright, despite being a revolver and having all of its uh, usual sort of um, difficulties with killing high level enemies. But yeah, sure, I'll give it a pass for that. We'll move on to something else and see if we can keep our Gunner Conscript mate around for a while. Okay, so I don't know where old mate Gunner Conscript went. I think she got lost along the fast travel, but here we are just outside of... Uh, Gibson point or whatever and uh, we're gonna take on some Mylurks today because I've pretty much figured out Yeah, this thing's not really a top tier weapon and we'll treat it as such We won't push it really hard against like enemies like super mutant warlords because that's just silly In, in fact, we're gonna shoot at some Mylurks very good and as you can tell there these Mylurks um their carapaces are pretty resistant to the 44 Magnum bullets. We just quickly start shooting at this Razor Claw. He's a little bit more high tier. I think he's like uh, tier 3. Um, uh, my luck there. But we should have some glowing ones. There we go. It's even a legendary glowing one. So you know this one means business. So we've uh, taken a sucker punch there, but that's fine. These things don't... Actually, they hit surprisingly hard. They hit harder than a high-powered rifle, which um, with claws like that... I can believe that. Awesome, we got a Moss and Nagant out of that, of the Rapid variety. So that thing's added into the, um, uh, the, uh, what's it called? The Legendary Loot Lists, I suppose. And I think that is it. I usually expect, ah, no, there's just one more basic Mylurk. Well, we'll go ahead and pop him out of his thing, and now he is dead. There's a, uh, Vertibird taking on probably some Super Mutants over there, but, uh, Phoebes is definitely not a copy of my previous characters with a new face, so she's definitely not allied with the uh, Brotherhood of Steel at all. Just ignore that shit. Anyways, we'll go ahead and take on our raiders now, because there's a bunch of raiders around here, and hopefully we'll finish up by... Wait, don't even crash with this thing, remember? Yes, we'll finish up with a Myler Queen to kill, and I think that'll be just about enough for this thing. So we'll take out some of these mid-level raiders, and they'll probably die very easily to it. While standing up, we can get ourselves the best rate of fire, and, hmm. Okay, this thing doesn't seem to have the best accuracy, which is strange. I mean, maybe it's a little bit more accurate that all of your weapons aren't pinpoint at once, but, uh, yeah, it's a little bit jarring when you're used to that kind of consistency and you're not getting it with this. And, uh, I swear my aim's not off because I didn't move my mouse at all there and I missed those shots, so, yeah. There's just a little bit of inherent spread on this weapon, which is unfortunate because that means in comparison to our vanilla weapons, it does underperform a little bit unless you run a patch that makes all of the vanilla weapons slightly more inaccurate. Then, okay, we'll take out the close dude. Ah, yes, Raider Veterans, the top tier Raiders. They go down in three shots there, so ah, uh, yeah. They're not really threatening at all. I think there's a Raider Overhaul that makes Raiders an actual threat, but uh, vanilla Raiders, they're just, they're just not that great. And um, I guess, looking back at what they say about all the Nuka World gangs, that they are a little bit more stronger than their Commonwealth counterpart sets because the Bethesda allows them to be at a high level. Also, you're... Okay, that's where you were. That That's a Harley Quinn Raider. She had her head stuck in a wall, so um, yeah, that's a thing. Okay, we'll finish off that waster there. It appears there's only one left according to the compass, so we can run up and shoot this person in their dorky face. Huh, where are you? There you are. Okay, looks like I've already shot you once. Anyways, on to the main event. There is a My Alert Queen there. She should provide a decent challenge for this thing. Oh wait, never mind. We'll have to take out these two wasters first. At least one of them is a waster. And you know what? To do that, we'll go ahead and use this thing in VATS. Because you know what? This seems to be actually very useful in VATS. You don't get all of those accuracy penalties. And the weapon remains nice and um, accurate in VATS. Which is um, a little bit inconsistent. Maybe this thing's just a little bit better in VATS than it is. Maybe it's like a vault tech compatible sort of uh, targeting computer in the revolver. Or so it's a futuristic revolver. That could totally happen. Anyways. Now on to the main event. It's time to kill Queen Krabby. And we'll do so in the fastest way possible. So there we go. Hitting a... 
for 23 damage. I think I was still hitting her on the shell with those headshots getting 113. So a satisfying amount of damage. And wow, what was that? You just turn in the in the. Oh, it's a moonwalking by her queen. It has to be legendary. It has to be. No, it's not. But it it moonwalked for some reason. That is strange enemy behavior. And there's a Myla Killclaw Overlord, but you know what? I think I might leave him alone. I'm going to enter sneak mode and make sure he doesn't kick my ass. But you know what? I think that is about it for this revolver. I've, I've had a decent time with it. It's still not my cup of tea. Um, definitely not something I'd hold on to either. But if you're attached to... Oh, also, dead gunners here. That That's not the gunner conscript before. No, that was a chick. Never, never mind. So, um, yeah, if you're desperately attached to revolver-type weapons and like the aesthetics of this thing, you might want to look it up and uh, have a go with it. But if you're like me and don't like um, having weapons that are inferior to stuff that's already in the vanilla game, and also this is a railroad thing, I'll have that. Yoink. It's not like they're totally around anymore to uh, need that stuff anyway, but yeah. So, yeah, if you like revolvers and your total recoil and all that, yeah, then pick up this revolver. If you don't like inferior weapons like me, then uh, I'll give it a miss. And I'll also chuck the Phoebe uh, companion mod in the description too if you're interested. Thank you for watching.